Hi, this is Code Practices with InfoPulse Experts. Today I want to talk about the variety of test configuration options. But before start, let me introduce some changes I've made in pyproject.toml. First of all, I have started using Poetry as a dependency manager. It is a minor change, but it should be very handy to manage versions. The file can be found in the GitHub project. And I have updated the dependencies versions. The way of installing packages changed a little bit. First of all, ensure you are using the virtual environment. Check. Then install the poetry. Then run the command, poetry install. And do not forget to update the Playwright web browsers. And now, let's get back to the topic configurations. Some of them you have already seen here. Like the base URL, responsible for short and unified URL input in the tests. And num processes, responsible for the number of parallel test executions. Parameter 1 means all tests will run sequentially. And it is useful for test development and debug. Auto means the system will start as many threads as there are CPU cores in your computer. I strongly advise you to check the full list of available parameters in the official documentation. For example, the argument headed is handy for test development and debugging, because we can see what is going on during the test. You may combine it with the argument slow-mo to slow down test execution, because Playwright runs tests really fast. And the browser argument lets you choose, surprise surprise, a web browser for a test run. Also. I'd recommend opening the terminal and running the command pytest help to check the list of all available pytest execution parameters. For instance, I like these options like stop testing on a first failed test to not waste time or stop after some number of failed tests. For single tests, you may use a mark decorator to send any context options. Let's copy the example and modify it by adding a viewport and geolocation with some random coordinates. There is one more tip for you. It is not enough to set the coordinates. You need to give browser permission to read them. The browser or context options can also be configured via corresponding fixtures. Just create a fixture with the same name like browser context args. Add some options like this iPhone viewport and return it. Note that this configuration is in the session scope fixture, so it will be applicable to all your tests. Let's think about how we can manage that. I can suggest adding markers to the tests that should be executed on mobile viewports and special checks in the fixture. I add the PyTest built-in request fixture to get the options from the terminal. Do not forget to return some options anyway. Modify test run parameters. And it works. Without this mark, test works as usual. To make things right, we have to describe all our markers in the project configuration. Do not hesitate to add as many markers as you need to make your test solution tangible. For instance, tests for smoke, quality gate, mobile tests, and after marking tests we can run them separately via terminal. Mind you can mark tests with several markers if you need them. Do not forget to remove headed mode and slow motion parameters, cause they'll spoil test execution in continuous integration. Marker in the PyTest is a very powerful tool and can be used for many purposes, such as data-driven testing or DDT. The idea is straightforward. What if a bunch of tests have the same steps, but only the test data differs? 
How to avoid code duplication. And the pie test has an answer. Parameterize tests. It is better to show once than to explain 10 times. So let's modify the test of adding coffee to the cart by adding the mark decorator. I'm defining the input and output parameter names and adding a list of tuples, where the first value will stand for coffee and the second price. And that's it. Time is saved, the code isn't duplicated, and everybody's happy. If I need to name my tests in a fancy way, for reporting or just because I can, I add one more parameter, IDs, and provide the list of names for my DDT tests. Voila! Hit the subscribe button to make sure you never miss new episodes. Also, your likes and comments are welcome and appreciated. Be safe and support Ukraine.